We started to raise our, our Africa Fund 3 in 2008, um, and that seems like uh, quite a long time ago now. Um, and obviously, very good market at the time, and we brought a strong record, uh, track record, into the process. We thought it was our uh, third Pan-African Fund. We'd already done 50 investments. We had 20 exits at the time, a very experienced team, over eight years of investing. Uh, but even then, it's a long road to, uh, to, uh, to raise a, a large African fund. We made well over 250 calls, uh, Middle East, uh, Africa, Asia, Europe, North America. Uh, so it was a long road, but it was, went, went well. We got a good first close in in 2008. Um, but then when the financial crisis uh, hit, it really just shut uh, the whole market down for us and uh, really the whole industry. Um, by uh, 2009, early 2009, it was pretty clear that we should suspend uh, uh, fundraising, really, uh, concentrate on our portfolio and wait for the, uh, the fundraising markets uh, to improve. Um, and it did improve uh, a bit in 2010 here. It did allow us to uh, uh, continue uh, uh, and close our fundraising uh, at uh, $613 million, which was uh, uh, our largest fund to date. Um, we did receive strong support from the DFIs, as we have uh, uh, throughout our, 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 our 10 years of investing. Uh, OPIC, uh, CDC, African Development Bank, IFC uh, are among the, the supporters, and, and they play, really played an important role in a difficult market, uh, a difficult uh, period for Africa in providing capital. But we also did have uh, a success in attracting new uh, investors. We certainly got a lot of interest, uh, much more interest than we got uh, six years ago or eight years ago, people wanting to hear uh, uh, the African uh, story. And uh, even in a tough market, it allowed us to uh, increase uh, the type of investors. Uh, we were able to attract uh, sovereign wealth funds, uh, uh, European pension funds, uh, and significant capital from Africa. We got over $100 million in uh, private sector uh, capital that's based uh, in Africa. And this has been another uh, important uh, change for us. So. Here in 2010, we still see it as a difficult market. If you look worldwide, it's probably about uh, the, the private equity industry will raise only about a quarter of what we, uh, was raised in, uh, in 2008. Um, and that would be the same uh, last year was uh, about a quarter as well. There is a glimmer of hope for the African uh, uh, sector there, though. The, 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 thing, the two things, really, that investment committees around the world are interested in hearing about, uh, one is distressed assets. Um, there seem to be a lot of those around and some good fundraising. The other one is growth. People are wondering where the growth is going to be over the next decade. Uh, they don't see that in Japan. They don't see it in the U.S. They don't see it in Europe. Uh, people are seeing it in, in Africa, and uh, that's been a good sign. One thing, though, I don't see 2011 being a very large year uh, for fundraising in Africa, mainly because uh, most of the top, uh, the most experienced African uh, private equity teams uh, have just finished raising and are not in the market in 2011. So really, probably 2012, 2013 is when the, uh, it comes together the uh, really uh, noticeable increased interest in Africa uh, and the, uh, and the, uh, the GPs uh, out on, on the road. I certainly agree in the long term, uh, having the local investors is, uh, is, is very important, you know, investors who are naturally interested in, in the, uh, 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 the economies. Uh, the flip side of that, too, is local stock markets. Uh, Exit is uh, what makes the track records, what makes uh, the exits uh, uh, is in the end going to be local stock markets. So uh, increasing the size of those, uh, increasing the integration of those uh, over the next decade is, is very uh, key to the uh, success uh, of the industry. Another thing that uh, potentially worrisome for us is uh, any restrictions on our ability uh, as an as a industry to raise money in uh, Europe, particularly uh, rules that would require us to uh, be, uh, have a presence there, or these type of things, uh, very much a burden on the uh, on uh, on African uh, GPs, uh, just given the size of the operations, uh, uh, and you know uh, these uh, type of rules on hedge funds and such are to stop uh, systematic risk to the global economy, and we are not a systematic risk uh, to the global economy. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.